What's up guys, it's West Coast Bricks, and today we are going to rank all 12 LEGO Muppet CMFs from worst to first. And as always, before we jump into the video today, make sure you smash that like button. Also hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on any more LEGO content. So at the number 12 spot, we have Ralph the dog. Ralph doesn't have much going on for him. All he has is the little statue and also the music notes, but... He's kind of lackluster in the detail department. Ralph has a bunch of little squiggly lines detailed on his torso, but they're, they should be there. That's the bottom line of that. He does have a unique head print or head mold, but all these figures have their own head mold, so that's nothing special. He does have the new statue with the little custom printed piece and the white hair, which is cool. Also the music note, but he's just not cut out for any higher than 12. At the number 11 spot, we have Janice. Janice has a bunch of detail in the front of her torso and also down the leg printing, but Janice is a character that isn't super recognizable, so not a lot of people know who Janice is unless you love the Muppets. So Janice does have foot printing, waist printing, and also some good leg printing. Uh, she also does have a new custom molded head along with all the other characters and she comes with a guitar which is nice because you get extra accessories for other figures in your collection. So in the number 10 spot we have Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. Dr. Bunsen Honeydew has the cool molded head along with the professor outfit to go with that. He's also holding a beaker which is nice for a different accessory. So although he has only a white torso and legs, I do love the print on his torso. I love how there's kind of like a three layer mix right there in the middle. You see his tie and his undershirt and also on the left or right, you can see his pens in his pocket. It's just an overall good fit. That's why he's at the number 10 spot. Coming at the number nine spot, we have Waldorf. Waldorf has two accessories and also has some great printing along with a brand new molded head. So Waldorf comes with his teacup with his plate and also his Z printed tile. He has some foot printing and same with Honeydew. He has some good detail on the torso print. And then his head mold is probably one of the best of the whole collection. Very detailed with his hair and the mustache and his eyes. At the number eight spot, we have Fozzie the Bear. Fozzie the Bear also has two accessories and also with that new molded head. Fozzie the Bear comes with his banana along with his mic in the stand, which is nice. And you also get a couple extra mic pieces, so that's great to have in your collection. He has some nice detail. Same with kind of Ralph. He has kind of the squiggly lines for his fur. That's on his shoulder and on his torso and legs. He also has that printed scarf along with his new printed mold on his head, which is nice. That's why he gets the number eight spot. At number 7, we have Statler. Statler has a blue outfit suit along with his printed keyboard as his accessory. Taking a closer look at the accessory, it's a keyboard with a printed tile and it has scooter right there up front. Statler has some foot printing, it's just black. It comes with kind of a blue suit with some detail along with Honeydew and also Waldorf. And then he has a really nice molded head. This is probably why he got so high on the list at number 7 because he has probably one of the best molded heads of this whole collection. Surprisingly coming at number six, we have Kermit the Frog. Lego kinda under delivered one of the star characters for the Muppets. Kermit comes with two accessories, his banjo and also the rainbow printed tile. Kermit has no lake printing. He is the only one in the whole collection with no lake printing. He has his little printing up top and also his custom molded head, which probably saved him. But this is why he's at number six. He has no leg printing. He's the only one in the whole Lego Muppet collection without leg printing. At the number five spot, we have Beaker. Beaker has one accessory, and it's kind of his walkie-talkie. And he has dual molded legs with a bunch of printing. Starting from the bottom to the top, we have some dual molded legs with some printing. Going up to the torso, we have the same printing along with his kind of suit like the other characters. And you can see his tie. I love the head mold on this beaker. Love his hair, his eyes, and his nose. It's kind of a unique shape because it's more cylinder. And also his walkie-talkie has a printed tile, which is nice right there. At the number four spot, we have Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy has her own printed tile piece along with dual molded arms and also dual molded legs. So like I said earlier, Miss Piggy comes with this cool printed tile piece that has her figure right there with her name. 
She also has some cool leg printing with also toe printing. Then she's wearing a dress with some pearl necklaces right there. And then Miss Piggy comes with an awesome head mold. She has makeup right there up top. You can see her ears, her blonde hair, and her cool pig mold. Coming in at the top three in the third spot, we have Gonzo. Gonzo's rocking probably the best torso in this whole collection and also has a cool accessory in his chicken. Starting from the bottom, Gonzo has some toe printing. Moving up to the legs, he has a kind of speckled leg printing as well. He also has a printed belt on his waistline. Moving up to the torso, we have some chili peppers sprayed all over Gonzo and also on his arms. And along with his tie, it's kind of like a polka dot tie, which is really nice. And Gonzo also has that unique head mold with his eyes and his elongated beak. So second place was tough. There was almost a tie between first and second, but there's a couple of reasons why I chose this fig at second instead of first. In second place, we have the chef. The chef comes with a printed headpiece for his tomato and also his whisk. Starting from the bottom on the chef, we have the foot printing with some dual molded legs. Moving up to the torso, we have his apron and also some cool lines for his undershirt. It's kind of blue uh, stripes down below. Also his bow tie. We get all the molded hair pieces for Chef. We have his eyebrows, his nose, and his mustache. The reason why I have Chef at number two is because it's not really his fault, but it's just a lack of torso printing. I know it's an apron, but that's the reason why it set him back from number one to number two in my opinion. And at the number one spot, we have Animal. Animal has a bunch of detail and also a bunch of accessories that propel them to be the number one spot. Can look at his drums. We get that printed towel piece up front, which is super nice, and also a bunch of pieces that come with Animal. You could get two animals and make a full drum set, which is really nice. So starting from the bottom with Animal, we have some dual molded legs that are orange and brown. Moving to the waist, we kind of have like a rope that goes down to the legs for printing, which is really nice. On the torso, we have some flames and some nice details, along with the arm printing as well. It's kind of like a triple mold that has red, orange, and yellow. Moving to the top on his head, his hair is slicked back, which is nice, and his eyebrows, his eyes, and his nose pop out. His mouth has some printing on it as well with some tongue and teeth showing, and he has some wands for drumsticks. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you would choose differently for your list or go ahead and put your list down below. If you enjoy these videos, let me know because I'm thinking about making more of these ranking worst to first videos. And as always, this is West Coast Bricks signing off.